Hello, I'm just going to be showing you how to use Apple Script when it's for and um, how to create a basic script. Apple Script uh, can be found in your Applications folder under Apple Script. It's pretty easy to find. Every computer ships with it and it's by default installed on your computer. Script utility, uh, script editor, sorry, script utility is useless. A script editor is basically what you're going to be using. Uh, it's how you write all of your scripts. It's the editor, it's everything. It's it's what you want to do. <laughs> Click on that. Click me. So, let me get rid of this. This is a basic script I put together that uh, will bring up a dialog box. Tells you you suck at life if you click eat. F oh, sorry. It brings up a, do a dialog box asking what you want it to do. The buttons are eat food, play on the computer, screw around on YouTube. Default button is one, eat food. And if you press eat food, then it automatically goes down here and says you suck at life buttons. Okay, default button one. If you press play on the computer, it'll open up a new Macintosh HD window. And if you press anything but play on the computer, it'll tell you you suck at life. So let's run that. Let's say play on a computer, and there's Macintosh HD. It worked. Let's close that and run it again. I would like to eat food. You suck at life. Oh. Okay, I'd like to run that again. Screw on YouTube. You suck at life. Oh. So this is kind of a depressing script, but it's the general outline of the things that you do with Apple Script. You don't actually put together an application with a whole graphical user interface and a whole window with buttons and purposes and things and procedures uh, it, you don't do any of that it's more of just it does things in the background for you and then you end up getting a result um, here let me just scrap this the way Apple script work is on tell statements so you, you can say tell application and in quotations the application you want to do something say finder go down a line then say I don't know um, teleplication finder whatever you want it to do like uh, new finder window one maybe that might work who knows and tell compile no syntax error so that is incorrect. See, with Apple Script, you can pretty much guess. It's so easy. The statements are almost as close to English as they can be. You just guess. That's what I love about it. You don't... Like, when I came to make this video, I don't know much about it. I just use it for my alarm clock in my bedroom, which is an iMac G3. It turns itself on at 6.30, and then runs an Apple Script that will open up iTunes and start playing your music. So maybe I'll just do that. I know how to do that. See, iTunes. Oops, capitals. iTunes, and then activate, which means bring it to the front, and then play, which will start playing your music. Now, press run, starts playing music, and I hate rap, so we'll get rid of that. It is in my iTunes library, though, but whatever, it starts playing your music. You've done this it's task, and it, you didn't get any result. You didn't get anything from it except the music. No window pops up that tells you what it's doing. It's more of just a do things in the background kind of thing. Now say tell app, we'll just get rid of the whole tell statement and make a dialog box. The easiest way to do this is just in dialogs, three button, three actions. No, that's it's too long. It takes too long for me to figure that out. Just go to two buttons, two actions. So display a dialog iTunes, or tunes, buttons, yeah, or yay, buttons. And then the other button is screw you. Default button could be screw you. Now, if it, it results in yay, then it can tell application iTunes, activate, play, and tell. And then, if anything else, then display dialog you suck at life here we go again with that you suck at life don't worry I'm not depressed I just find it funny 
buttons. Pull bracket, quotation, okay, quotation, bracket, default, button, one. I need to take this down and compile it and as you can see everything changed color and the things that are in quotations changed to black which means it's correct anything green, green is a variable and it either doesn't understand it or just assuming that it has something to do with the rest of the script when you compile it so I'm going to run that it says tunes yay or screw you when you press screw you you suck at life and doesn't do anything button returned is okay if we say tunes there's my tunes again. Hate rap. Um, that's pretty much a basic script. It all works on tell application or display dialog. Yeah, you can do things like open up, uh, open up things, or you can create a whole series of dialog boxes that will create mail messages and things in mail. Or it works with every application that's shipped with their computer. I'm not sure about iLife though. I don't know what what, you, what kind of things you'd want to do and I like automatically create a new iMovie project that would be a pretty bad script and almost useless because you can just do it yourself in probably a shorter amount of time than this does it. Now I want to show you this script here that I have. This automatically opens up a whole bunch of websites in the morning. This is for my next generation article. Tell applications of already to activate system events. That's just like, if you want to do a key command, it's in system events. Although that isn't a, a formal application, that's what AppleScript ret refers to it. And key code 36, I, I don't know, that just means command T for, for new tab. And then repeat from I to 2 with num URLs. These are these, the, the greens variables. This is the URL list. Quick menu item, new tab of file menu bar 1 and tell keystroke key code repeats tells tells and that basically opens up all of these in new tabs now let's copy and paste and check that out compile looks all good run and look it's typing out the stuff opening in new tabs and what do you know we've got tabs with all the stuff we need well, we don't need any of this, but this is the stuff that's going to open up when my computer starts up, but I haven't really gotten that far with my alarm clock yet. So yeah, that's um, that's basically AppleScript. Uh, fool around with it. Comment below. Any questions, don't send me a message on uh, YouTube because I hate YouTube's messaging, as does everybody. Have a great day.